Obviously with Bitcoin, you are betting on potentially the collapse of the major nation's currencies. So Bitcoin could have this massive run and I don't think the numbers like 250,000, 500,000, 600,000 are out of the question. When you look at Bitcoin's infinite market cap and you compare it to gold, bonds, real estate, and the fact that they're gonna tokenize all financial assets, just like Larry Fink said on Fox News last week. That's why, to me, Bitcoin is so exciting because there is the what if factor. To me, why Bitcoin is exciting is because there is an unknown with the infrastructure of the entire financial system. Nobody knows what's going to happen if the dollar loses its status as the world reserve currency. The British pound lost 90% of its value and never returned. So there's this something. What if that something does happen? And if there is that something that happens, which breaks the financial system, because obviously, historically, with gold, the price moves higher, we get a little push in the right direction. But with Bitcoin, it's kind of really just this speculative asset. What happens if this happens? If Balaji's prediction comes true, and the nation states break up, and it's Red states that are pro-Bitcoin, blue states that are pro-CBDC, and some states in the middle. We already live in a Web3 world. And obviously, it's not quantifiable. You can't put it on a chart and say, here's a guarantee. But I think we're somewhere in the middle. So I call it the basic logic strategy. Bitcoin's $520 billion total market capitalization. Because people are going to naturally gravitate to whatever gives them autonomous control over their finances... Because like Jeff Booth says, everything falls to the marginal cost of production because everything priced in Bitcoin will go down forever because of these facts. So when people finally realize these facts, you're going to see Bitcoin go up 5, 10, 20, 30, 50 times from here. And all that's going to take is Bitcoin's market cap to go from 520 billion to 5 trillion, which is half the market cap of gold. So I do think these numbers can happen. And obviously, again, this is long-term macro, but this is the direction I think Bitcoin is going. That is the basic logic strategy, sir.